Hey, many fish. December 16th, 2017. Shabbat Shalom. And I'm sure you all remember the Arch of Palmyra that was in New York as well as in Dubai and as well as in Florence, Italy. And from Florence, Italy, it went to Arona, Italy. And from Arona, Italy, it was supposed to go to Paris. That was the word that was given back when these articles first came out. Okay? The Arch of Triumph now goes to Paris. That was according to this man who is the mayor of Arona. Okay? Very, his very own words. It was going to Paris. And this article is very interesting. Uh, the person who put this together did a lot of work. I'll link it. So please go check this out. And it has a lot to do with our new French president, Macron. Okay? So we followed the arch around, which, by the way, Arona, that is a derivative of the name Aaron, the high priest, the first high priest, meaning mountain of strength. So they had their satanic sacrificial portal ritual arch because that's what it represents this represents the spirit of lucifer it's his portal okay so we had this thing marching around the world and included new york city and then it was supposed to go to paris and it disappeared it's gone off the radar 100 percent and the reason this came back to my memory is because this past week, we've had all kinds of things going on in Paris. We had a big climate summit that occurred uh, that just the, the creme de la creme attended this thing. I mean, all the high rollers. I mean, Sean Penn, he's not a high roller, but he was there, as well as... John Kerry, Mr. Skull and Bones, uh, Bloomberg, Richard Branson, Bill Gates, all of them. All of those, uh, let's call them elite. That's what we'll call them. All for the Climate Summit, which is one of the big delusions that they're trying to push the country into. So we had this going on, and we also had last week... France had a big uh, entertainer star die, kind of similar to, you know, our Elvis, I guess you could say. And we know, like, when these stars die over here, the movie stars and the music stars, you know, Whitney Houston and uh, David Bowie and Kurt Cobain, they're always, always, always com totally connected to satanic rituals always never fails and this guy is no different in fact this is this one takes the cake first we got the luxor obelisk in the background here paris is steeped in satanic symbolism big big procession at this giant church the, the madeline church we could go into that president all of kings queens no lie king of spain all these dignitaries and then millions of people mourning johnny holiday march down the concord through the arch of triumph and through this thing in the very back here that you might not be able to see that is what i'm going to get to in a minute here crazy crazy all this spiritual energy going through these arches mourning a man mourning a mortal treating him like a god do you understand where i'm coming from and that structure in the background there is called the grand arch de la fence and ladies and gentlemen that is a giant satanic portal a cube in a cube as well as an arch as well as a gate, as well as a door, that thing is a big deal. That's all I can tell you. Satanic to the core. 
And that sits right straight down the concord. They line right up with each other. Both of these, as well as the Luxor obelisk. And at the very end is the Louvre Museum, which is a pyramid. But this just illustrates how Satan has been working on this earth all along. And all you need to do is see him. This is that cube that I was telling you about. We could take a look at it. I'm sure they got some images here for us. There you go. How's that for modern architecture? Look at that. That's not symbolic of anything Luciferian at all, right? Well, let me get rid of these lines. Okay. You got to bear with me. This is the big Concorde they have there in Paris. This like five mile long concourse. It runs all the way down here. Let me get rid of some of these other lines so we're not getting confused here. There it is. Okay. This big long concourse here in the triumphal arch, which is the same thing, you guys. Same thing as these guys here. Same thing. They represent the exact same thing. And this is the centerpiece of Paris. And that cube sits right here. Let's take a look at the symbolism around here. First we got the cube. Notice how it's just offset just a tiny bit. That means something. We have a giant pyramid that can only be seen as a pyramid from the air. We have a pentagram that is mostly hidden, like a broken pentagram. So the spirits can get out if you know what I'm saying, as well as Vesca Pisces right next to it. The symbolism here is just redonkulous. We look down our big concourse here, and that procession of those millions of mourning people all came down this concourse through this arch and all the way up to the Louvre Museum right here which is what it is a pyramid let's look let's see if we can find a picture of the Louvre Museum look at that there you go that's what it is right there okay is that like sum it up for you I mean this is just redonkulous I it, the the Luciferian satanic everything here is off the hook and we can take some measurements from here to illustrate that this was no accident how they place these things this obelisk these are so important people I can't tell you these are Satan's little thumbtacks they are extremely powerful and meaningful as well as all the arches these are these are literal little antennas of Lucifer's that just suck off the energy of all the humanity that doesn't know Christ that that lives in this flesh which is sin period end of discussion so let's just play with a few things from the obelisk which these are the two oldest of the landmarks the obelisk and the and the arch the triumphal arch which I want to show you something else about that too in a second but from that obelisk I mean this is the kind of crazy stuff okay right exactly from the obelisk right exactly to the arch I mean right to the center folks you know I don't mess around this is just wild we got a measurement of 1.32 miles pretty harmless right well 23 23 yards 69 69 feet cannot be made up cannot be coincidence this is satan through the hands of men who serve him most unknowingly these are just people who don't know the truth okay they do not have the love of the truth okay and with all deceivableness and unrighteousness and them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved and understand all these things that are happening in our world right now this is how you do that so I could go on and on and on folks 
one of the real cool ones here. We can go directly from the pyramid here. Our famed Louvre pyramid. And we can go all the way, all the way from the center of that pyramid down to the center of our cube. Okay? You can't make this stuff up, you guys. I mean, I, I know, I don't even need to say that at this point. But check this out. 26,666 feet. Well, it says 65, but, you know, okay, I'll, I'll give you the foot. Check this out. 8,888 yards. Once again, not an accident. And the real reason that I even want to make this video is because I am getting a strong feeling, a strong understanding in my spirit that this these powers and principalities are preparing something very, very soon. They did not go and garner all this energy lately between this giant funeral and all the Paris uh, elite. I mean, all the elite that we had in Paris. And it, it, you just, you cannot dismiss this stuff. This is preparation. This is uh, building up to something. And we have right at our doorstep saturnalia i do not know a ton about saturnalia i know that there are people who are doing things in regards to the stars and the things that are going on in the heavens and i know that saturnalia is a big deal this is the temple of saturn in rome notice the arches in here this is all significant it all comes back around to the same thing they are fixing to worship their god that is their god in my opinion i think they are ready to welcome him into this world essentially and i have a feeling that it might be through these arches these portals now how that comes about i don't know but i know that this is a very very powerful spiritual time both satanic and god god is working overtime as well as satan right now i mean this battle is just raging people and i just felt it was incumbent upon me knowing that this ritual season is upon us and all these big huge things that they have going on in paris and we cannot cannot dismiss the blatant layout of this whole situation here in Paris. I mean, this is just sick. And I haven't even touched on the Temple of Saturn in Rome. Which we find right here. Again, the arches, the pyramid, uh, it's so ridiculous. Rome has its own set of obelisks. One from Heliopolis, the one in the Vatican. Okay? The temple of Saturn sits right here. And if we run straight directly to the art, the cube in Paris from the temple of Saturn, it's just crazy. That would be that line right there. Okay? I just, you gotta wrap your head around this. And if you understand you know, the Illuminati and, and how they communicate through their numbers, then you'll know the significance of 693, which is the exact distance to the cube from the temple of Saturn. 693. That's important. And if you want to understand this stuff, then you need to seek Jesus. Because once you accept him into your life, into your heart, you are free. And he just starts pouring out all this understanding on you. And you live in peace. Even amongst all this craziness that we see. Which is just nutbag off the hook. So, I guess I'm just saying... Please be on high watch. The, the spiritual world is really, really going to start spilling out into this reality. 
And if you're not prepared, if you're not armored up, your heart will fail you. It's just the way it is. You can't forget, we are not fighting against flesh and blood. No, 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 no. These are principalities and powers, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places. So you better take unto you the whole armor of God. Okay? This coming week is very, very critical in my spirit. So there you have it, y'all. Y'all have a great day. Shabbat Shalom. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 